Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter. This is your Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Tuesday, March 21st. Seems to rounds the snow this morning, of which have been moderate to heavy, especially across the upper valley. We are going to expect those to taper off through the morning hours into the early afternoon. But active weather and widespread snow again will lift north tonight. We are looking at some chances for afternoon thunderstorms tomorrow in addition to widespread snow. We'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Key points we're going to focus on today. Our first system will shift through east throughout the morning hours. Arc seeing some winter travel conditions with winter winter advisories in effect. Those have been expanded to include the Snake River Plain, where three and a half inches of snow have fallen in the last two and a half hours in Idaho Falls. Behind that, we are seeing some areas of morning fog and low stratus, so it'll be a fairly cloudy day as we kick off the day. But beyond that, we are going to see some more pleasant weather conditions return for later portions of today. Our next system will arrive for tonight with more widespread moderate snow impacts expected all the way through Wednesday night. And with those chances, we're going to see some breezy winds across the Magic Valley Lower Snake Plain, in addition to some changes for some afternoon and evening thunderstorms across the southeast. After a short break for Thursday morning, our third system will arrive for later part of Thursday into Friday, with chances for snow continuing as breezy to locally, wind, locally windy uh, conditions persist in later portions of Thursday through all the day through Friday. Uh, will be the strongest winds of the week, and we will be seeing that snow shift predominantly into the mountains for the weekend. Satellite this morning, you can see that area low pressure, very photogenic this morning across the upper valley. The sun is leading to some enhancement of some bands of snow, which is leading to some very heavy snow in some areas, one to two inches an hour for uh, locations along the I-15, US-20, US-26 corridors. Certainly something to keep in mind as you're headed out the door this morning. But to our southwest, you can see that next system that will be working in through California today. It can bring in a lot of wind and flooding threats, especially as you get out into California. But for us, it could be lots of snow and a little bit of breezy winds in the lower portions of the valley. Weather for Scott, look for the next five days. Make concerns today will center around some snow, especially during this morning hours, especially up around Idaho Falls, where heavy snow is ongoing. But outside of that, just some patchy morning fog, low stratus, and some afternoon breezy winds in portions of the Magic Valley. By tomorrow, we're going to see a potential for some widespread snow and maybe a rain-snow mix across our lowest elevations. Snow levels look to climb to around 5,000 feet, so certainly going to see a chance for some rain mixing in across our lowest elevations. But we are going to have a chance for some afternoon and evening thunderstorms on Wednesday. By Thursday and Friday, same thing. They're seeing the chances for rain and snow in the lower elevations, uh, mostly snow during the early morning, you know, late day hours, but certainly during the afternoon uh, when those temperatures are warmest, looking at chances for rain mixing in on Thursday. But by Friday, Saturday, temperatures are going to continue to cool throughout the week, staying well below normal for this time of year as chances for snow continue widespread across the area. We did have four cloud to ground lightning strikes yesterday, one a couple over in the Magic Valley, one northeast of Soda Springs, and another southeast of Idaho Falls. We saw everything from rain, snow, grapple, and even some small hail with gusts of 50 miles an hour in the Magic Valley. So certainly seeing that scattered thunderstorm throughout yesterday, and that will continue into Wednesday as well. Temperatures for today are going to start off in the teens, 20s to low 30s this morning, but by the afternoon should be fairly pleasant. Most everyone will be in the 30s to mid 40s. Snow amounts today, so again, we're looking at about 1 to 3 inches in the valleys, but we are seeing an enhancement band, generally about Blackfoot, Idaho Falls, on U.S. 26 area. We received a report of already 3.5 inches in Idaho Falls, so we really far expecting, um, you know, surpassing forecast expectations by far with that localized enhancement, and could see some totals closer to about 3 to 8 inches in this corridor by the time all is saying and done. Wind gusts on today are going to be about 20 to 30 miles an hour, but by tonight we are going to see those strongest wind gusts shift to the Magic Valley. We could see gusts at about 30, 45 miles an hour for tonight. Take a look at that timing for you. So precipitation will continue in the upper valley for, you know, all the way through sunrise today, 7.30, 8 o'clock. But by the early afternoon uh, hours, we are going to see the precipitation begin to wane down, but still seeing some slight chances for some convectively driven showers, mainly in the mountains. Uh, staying fairly light, though, uh, but in our next chances, as you can see, working up from the south just around sunset tonight, that precipitation will continue to lift north throughout the overnight hours, bringing widespread snow and some breezy winds, especially across the Magic Valley. For Wednesday, it can be teens and 20s, 30s to kick off your morning with afternoon highs slightly cooler in the 30s to mid 40s. Snowfall amounts on Wednesday we are looking at like widespread 1 to 3 inches in the valleys. Locally higher as you get into the INL, Craters of the Moon area. Could see upwards of 3 to 6 inches in those areas, especially as you head across all of our valleys of the Southeast Highlands as well. Head over to the high country, looking at about 6 to 12 inches above 6,500 feet for most of our southern and eastern ele higher elevations. And up in the central mountains, generally looking at about 6 to 8 inches for the high country. Wind gusts on Wednesday are going to be tapering down slightly, but you can see, you know, a little bit of breeziness in the Magic Valley up towards Craters of the Moon, Tomcat Summit. But outside of that, wind gusts outside of thunderstorms will be fairly light, less than 25 to 30 miles an hour. Storm Prediction Center does have us in a general risk for thunderstorms, and you can see that area highlighted here, generally along the I-15, I-86, I-84 corridor east and south to Utah and Wyoming. 
Moderate reflectivity for Wednesday. You're going to see that snow continue to lift north. That will be associated with a warm front, so at least a little bit of a gap there um, in precipitation, so drier conditions later part of Wednesday morning. But as you can see here, uh, we're going to have plenty of clearing and, and helping to generate that instability. We're going to see some of those heavier precipitation. Those will be where we could expect some more scattered thunderstorms. Those will continue to push through the later part of Wednesday as a cold front works through the area. Temperatures for your Thursday, teens, 20s, 30s, sound like a broken record, but we're keeping that going. Afternoon highs, 30s and 40s, pushing about 50 degrees into the Magic Valley. Snowfall amounts on Thursday, so slightly less from what we saw on Wednesday, certainly, but still about 1 to 2 inches in all of our valley zones, 2 to 3 in our higher elevations, uh, but certainly as you get out into the southern and eastern, above 6,500 feet or so, looking at about 4 to 8 inches, especially in the Tetons and southeast highlands. Wind gusts on Thursday are going to be slightly breezy, generally gusts about 25, 25 to 30 miles an hour, and by the nighttime hours, starting to see those pick up, especially in the Magic Valley, could be looking at gusts for Thursday for into Friday morning, generally about 30 to 45 miles an hour. Precipitation into Thursday morning, so we're going to see the precipitation continue behind that cold front, but slowly beginning to taper back and kind of shift further east into Wyoming uh, throughout the day. Temperatures on Friday, single digits now in the North Country, but as you head further east, it can be 20s pretty much across the board, teens and 20s, with afternoon highs here noticeably cooler on Friday in the 20s and 30s. Snowfall amounts on Friday, still looking at some widespread snow. Heaviest snow will be outside of the Snake Plain, but still could lead to some minor travel impacts throughout the entire region on Friday, especially as you get up towards Island Park. Wind gusts on Friday, so while, while we don't have as much snow in the lower elevations, we'll be dealing with plenty of wind. We'll see gusts between 30 to 45 miles an hour. Could see some locally higher gusts, about 50 uh, during the day on Friday. But beyond that, wind gusts taper back to about 30, 40 miles an hour during the early evening and overnight hours. Temperatures on Saturday, teens and single digits for most, but you can see 20s still holding on in the lower Snake Magic Valley area, but afternoon highs continue to see that cooling trend, so we're about 15 to 25 degrees colder than normal afternoon highs on Saturday, afternoon highs in the 20s to mid-30s. And snowfall amounts on Saturday, like I was saying, we're going to see that snowfall generally shift to uh, out of our lower elevations into the mountains for the weekend, but still seeing some accumulating snowfall, especially as you get out into the mountains outside of the Snake Plain further north and east. And wind gusts on Saturday going to be fairly light, not like what we saw on Friday, certainly, but less than 25 miles an hour across the board. And look at what's ahead. Six to ten day, this takes us through just about the end of March. Widespread below normal temperatures are favored across the western United States, about an 80 to 90 percent chance of seeing that. And that was evident in those temperatures you were just seeing. And six to ten day precipitation outlook, you know, keeping with at least near normal chances. So maybe we will slightly lose that active pattern once we get to the end of this week, uh, but still seeing some chances for precipitation just might not be as heavy. That's about all I got for you this morning. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to our email, send us, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have a great day.